to Hi Rory's guys. Fun. Best school ever. Woo! The bargain. Huh? <laughs> What's up? Hello. <laughs> Where are we at? Uh, Middle of the ocean? Yeah, I have no clue actually. We're on supposed to start C. Uh. <laughs> I decided that I wanted to do a week in the life on supposed to start C. The boys got though. dressed up tonight to go do homework and I'm in this. This is pretty much where everybody comes to play games. What up? There's yoga instructor Ellie playing some more games. That's a lot of pressure from Riles for me to record this for. The pool's right there. You can kind of see it. There's people on a date like right there. On a date? Yeah. <laughs> Love like, it's snack time. Oh. Hey. 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 Okay, Riles. What's the country you're most excited for? Country I'm most excited for? Probably right now, Kenya, because I'll turn 21. Woo. Let's go. <laughs> we're just gonna give them an update. You can't just wait. Yeah, you went to yoga. Yeah. Oh, we did do sunset That's yoga. Fun. So everyone on my lot. TikTok, when I did my like room tour. I, I met my that. neighbor Matthew on the video. Yeah, like, All the oh. comments are like, oh my gosh, we need to meet Matthew, we need to meet Matthew, whatever. So What up guys? It is now like 1.30. I forgot to film today. Of course I did, but we went to global studies at 8.30. After that I wrote my speech that I had to give in my 11 a.m. class, my marketing class. It was kind of sweet. Um, I wish we would have vlogged that, but I forgot. We just went to lunch and now we're at the pool. Rate your day so far. My day so far has been a six out of 10. Six out of 10? I haven't gotten in the pool yet because I got class in like 50. I don't want to be and wet. Annie said that lunch was awful. Lunch was super mid. It was really bad. It was meatloaf with an egg in it. Like, like a whole egg. And honestly, I've never not eaten the meat yet. That's the first time. So that's not a good sign. And I skipped global studies. That was kind of nice. Yeah, he skipped class this morning. I didn't. I was really close to doing it though. But this is what every day looks like on semester <laughs> to go to the first workout class of the day. <laughs> On the clock. Woo. First try this, you might just barely be lifting. Just start there. You're gonna feel it in your chicken. You might do some child pose to stretch yourself. <laughs> So I got a smoothie after my hard ass workout, but I have another workout, so I'm trying to pull off. Wow, sorry man, we're out of the banana. Okay, bye. She won't show herself because she just woke up and so I'm just eating dinner by myself. Which this is the first time since being on the voyage eating dinner alone. But I just took the time to call my mom because duh. But like not like the night. Dinner was really good though. It is the next day at 11. Me and Casey. You can't see her but she's sitting behind me. We have to sit at different tables because if not, we won't get work done. So um, I came out here about an hour ago because I needed to write, rewrite my speech. I gave a speech yesterday in my marketing class and my teacher loved it so much he asked me to do it for his international marketing class. So, but after I had given the speech I was kind of like rattled up and like nervous so I like deleted the speech, didn't save it. So I had to rewrite that because I have class for that. I told Jane Doe ideas and like writing so many things down in my notes and trying to look around at ideas and stuff. Good morning! Um, yeah, this is Jack 
What are you doing? Kissy. I'm and doing a, a, a week in the life on the semester at sea. Oh, I love it. Are you? Huh? <laughs> I got an apple, a peach, bread, peanut butter, fried chicken, potatoes, and cucumbers. Fried chicken is actually so good. I went to the pool, then changed into my workout clothes because we have class. And I want to go to yoga right after, so. This is what the library looks like when everyone's trying to book stuff for our next port and they have no Wi-Fi <laughs> besides the four computers. And, and we're actually um, very organized and we're getting yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be Riley's birthday! Yay! 21. That's I'm gonna be so, so excited, you guys. On a safari. I will be in Kenya for my 21st birthday and that's the next port after India, so we're like on top of that. Yeah. Actually, the worst at vlogging. Like, I could get the award worst vlogger ever. Today is a study day on the ship, which means basically we don't have classes. Because for those of you who don't know, every day you're on the ship is a school day because you are on the ship for basically like five days and then off for five, one for five, whatever. So it just makes the most sense because when you're off the ship, you do not do school. Well, this stretch is a little bit longer. So we had a study day. Me and all of my friends, actually, everyone on the boat was at the pool today. Now I think like 3.30, I just got back to my room and we've been out there since like 10 and I didn't bring my camera and like I like forgot until just now. It reminds me so much of like Cabo spring break, but like, every day. I um, scheduled a massage in our spa and I'm so excited for that. Um, that's at five, so I have like a little bit of time just to chill out. It is massage time. Perfect, thank you. This is the outfit check. What I wear every single day. Skims and sweats. But guys, being for real, I'm so tired and I was falling asleep right before I came because I think the sun has me really tired. Um, so I really hope I don't fall asleep during the massage because I want to enjoy it. My body feels so different. I'm just being totally real with you guys. The eating times really have messed me up. Breakfast is at like 6, ends at like 8, and I'm not up before 8. So I never go to breakfast, and then lunch is like 11, and then dinner's at like 5.30. So then by the time it's 8, I'm like literally eating everything I can even find. I've just been eating so many snacks, and like my body obviously doesn't feel great um but i'm trying my best to just like always keep it moving and i just guess grind when we get home i don't know i'm just trying to enjoy it as much as possible but it's kind of hard when i'm like drowning myself in snacks every night i feel like gross i'm so excited <laughs> unreal Yesterday was our study day, and we just literally chilled all day long. Yeah. And then now we have classes. We just came back from Global Studies. I'm starving. I can't wait for lunch, and it's nine. <laughs> we have class, and then I'm gonna go to Core Power Hour, and then we're gonna go to yoga. Yeah. Yay. This is what you do 24/7 on semester at sea. You just gotta figure out things to do. Just lay here and do nothing. <laughs> Look out the window and talk. Love it though. I literally went to Global Studies in my pajamas, guys. Just changed into my workout outfit because we have core power hour at 3. It's 2.37. I was just chilling at the pool trying to look at a hotel to book for india because we get to india in three days i'm pretty sure i'm gonna work out and probably chill by the pool until my next workout at six 
And then tonight we're probably gonna book for India. Just walking to get a mat and go to four power hour. And I just can't believe how beautiful every part of this place is. Like, guys, it's so perfect. I'm in the library and I've been in here for like an hour and a half just on my phone because we just got service because there's like land by us um, and I haven't even seen anyone in like literally three hours because everyone has service so we're like kind of doing our own thing but I didn't want to just be in my room so I am at the library just scrolling on TikTok like there's no tomorrow. Dinner and it's actually so good. I like really needed this because the fish, I don't know what it is but it has some like creamy sauce on it and the pork is fire and all I wanted was like meat so I'm very satisfied. I'm back in my room. It's only 7.30. Ever since coming on semester at sea, I've been journaling um, because my mom got me this semester at sea with my name personalized journal and I thought it would just be like really fun to go back and read how I have felt and like every single moment and so me and my friends usually go up to the top deck and journal at like 11 12 that's just how I've been doing it um, but after Malaysia which was our last port we just had so much fun we didn't journal at all during Malaysia um, so that has kind of got me off track a little bit i think i'm gonna journal right now because this week looks a lot different than last week and i'm sad that i decided to film this week so our longer stretches at sea is when we have our test and our projects and our essays due so honestly all of this week has been like everyone's doing homework and like the first week it was so not like that we were out playing games till like two in the morning every single night we were like laughing having so much fun and like now it's like Oh gosh, we actually have school to do. I honestly have a lot to journal about, so I'll probably be here for like literally two hours. The smoke deck is popping. Bam, bam, bam. Where are we going? We get smoky toky. <laughs> this right favorite spot. If you're ever wondering where he is, <laughs> it's the smoke deck. <laughs> this is my spot. Just sit and watch. What time is it? Snack time! <laughs> <laughs> How is it? That was good. We're in Lido um, because at 10 every night they have snack time, but they really just put out five different pieces of cake. the next day it's 9 15 and i skipped global studies for the first time everyone was in my room last night till like pretty late and i just like did not feel like going to class i was like okay i'm sorry but today i'm just gonna have to skip and then yesterday they took attendance so i was like okay they probably won't take attendance today so i decided to not go but i didn't even sleep i wanted to not go so i could sleep until like 9 30 but i was up at 8 30 so I should have just went. I have my first exam tomorrow for marketing and I'm really, really nervous about it. So I think I'm gonna get dressed and go study.
tonight is drink night for those of you who do not know what drink night is one semester at sea one night a week basically so everyone gets this like voucher it's like a card and you can obviously use each other's vouchers like if you do not want them you can just like get someone to get their drinks and then you can just get the drinks from them which is what i do every time because i do not drink so i just give my drinks to people that want them it's just basically dinner but you have you get to have drinks with your dinner um i think it's wine or beer it's literally the one night i get dressed um i don't want to say we get dressed but i do feel like it's just a night that most people do usually get dressed and when i say get dressed i just mean like put makeup on possibly do their hair and that is because i literally never have makeup on and i never do my hair so that is what i'm about to do right now first i'm going to start off with my hair don't even know how i'm going to be able to brush it being in the salt water and how windy it is on semester at sea really mats my hair up i'm the type of girl that goes basically a week and a half before washing my hair i feel like your natural oils are very good for your hair definitely when i get back to the states in may i'm gonna have to probably chop my hair off and get a couple good treatments going because she is dead but the night before i wash my hair i like to really lather it in oil and probably tomorrow i'll put a hair mask in it before i go to class holy my tan lines are really out today some workout clothes i am gonna go work out um i didn't really film much today i had class this morning i have class every day at 8 30 um so wake up time is eight every single day I had class and then i went and watched miss june speak about antarctica and how she loves it and how she's the penguin lady i literally love that woman so much she is literally a saint i actually interviewed her for a tiktok and it was very cute and i can't wait to edit and post that and then i had first marketing exam it wasn't that bad but obviously wasn't the best so i'm gonna go work out for probably about an hour and a half and then dinner time we get to india tomorrow so we have a pre-port meeting every single night before we port um so i'm excited i get to explore cochin india tomorrow 
Yay. We're at dinner and they are serving us Indian food today, which is so exciting. I actually already ate, but I wanted to show you guys because it was so bomb. It makes me so excited for India. First is this South Indian soup. Butter chicken, that was literally so good. They also had naan, which I'm obsessed with bread, so I thought it was so good, but I think it's like out now, which kind of sucks. People that didn't get to try it, but so good. 10 out of 10 dinner. All right, Riley's gone. All right, first question. What scares you most about Riley? I don't know. She's really, she's right often. She isn't scary, it's just like, it is kind of scary. Question. What scares you most about Riley? I I never know what she's thinking. Dude, she knows everything. Like literally, like <laughs> not not in the sense of like <laughs> not in the sense of like world knowledge, but like what's going on in your personal life. She will know. Like you can be like mouthing something a mile away, true. and she'll know exactly what you're saying. You can't hide anything from that woman. Nope. She's very observant. Hmm. Too, too observant, I would say. <laughs> Well, that looks really cool, actually. Yeah, that's cool. Our last sunset before India. We're at Freeport. Yeah, okay. Not bad, like a six. Maybe a seven. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, no, I changed my mind. No, no, no you, you can. Um. <laughs> we made it to India, guys. It is 10 a.m. Um, I think we got here around like 8.30, 9. This is what she's looking like right now. The port views are always just kind of funky, I feel like. Um but I'm so excited to be here. I'm actually about to go get my nails done. So I'm gonna probably make a TikTok all about that. But I'm just gonna end the video here because we're in country now and I told myself that I probably wasn't gonna be filming a YouTube video in India. Um, but I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited and blessed that you're here. Remember to follow all of my socials. I literally post everything on TikTok. So don't miss out and Instagram, duh. But Love you guys.